Dear students, today we are going to do an experiment in the microwave lab that is directional coupler characteristics measurement. Let us see, this is a directional coupler you can see here, usually it is a network used in the microwave lab, you can see here, here it is a port, you can see here this is first port and next port is this one. It is second port and this is third port and this is the fourth port okay so it is a four port network first second third and fourth port and now you are going to measure the characteristics of a directional coupler and here you can see the experimental setup here experimental setup to measure the directional coupler is first one is a klystron supply and then klystron oscillator then isolator variable attenuator after the variable attenuator there is a directional coupler then it is given to the detector mount or match determination then detector mount or match determination see first of all we have in order to measure the directional coupler characteristics we have to connect the directional coupler in the microwave bench and actually the, here now it is shown that it is a microwave bench set up you know, to obtain the maximum power output. So first of all we have to set this bench for a particular microwave frequency that is why we are setting like this that is after the variable attenuator we are connecting to the detector mount then the detector mount is connected to CRO to set the maximum power output. After setting the maximum power output we can connect this directional coupler okay we can use the directional coupler as first of all we can give the input to this port and we can take the output to this port so this is like two wave gates connected in parallel so first one is one this is second port so this is called a through port and corresponding to this first port this this port that is third port will be a coupled port and this fourth port is terminated port that is terminated by using match determination and in the next stage you can connect give the input to this port see you can when we are giving input to this port output can be taken to this port so the coupled port will be this port okay so this port will be always terminated so to take the input to give the input to this port and we can take output from this port so at that time we have to match to terminate this port by using a match determination um, so let us see the experiment first of all we can set the maximum output okay so we have gone through the bench setup to get the maximum output for this uh, microwave uh, so for that we are using this klystron power supply in that case first of all um, we have to ensure that this repeller voltage knob is at a maximum position that is it is at a full anti clockwise position beam voltage knob is at a minimum position uh, and this amplitude knobs uh, will be uh, positioned between uh, somewhere between maximum and minimum and first of all we will switch on the main power supply then we will switch on this power supply and it will be turned to HD will be on turned on then we will put the meter selector switch in the current mode and then we will wait the current to become zero then we will put it in the voltage mode and we will adjust the beam voltage to 250 volt after that we will put it in the current node current knob so that the current is approximately corresponding to 250 volt current will be 13 milliampere next we will put this knob into the repeller voltage mode and we will turn this repeller voltage adjusting knob that is this one and this knob we will turn in the clock anti-clockwise direction so that we are adjusting it to minus one, 158 repeller voltage so that we will obtain a maximum output at the CRO you can see in the CRO you can adjust uh, the output waveform at the CRO like this you will obtain a square wave of corresponding to maximum output you can see the variation when I am turning this repeller voltage you can see that the amplitude is reducing so you have to set that output for a maximum output by turning this repeller voltage knob now 
now the repeller voltage is 154 and then you can connect this to the VSWR meter. See here we are using VSWR and here we are going to measure the directional coupler, uh, directional coupler characteristics. So need power values and in the C VSWR meter you can see the power is represented by the lowermost two red lines. Okay. So we have to adjust this power for a particular dB. Uh, corresponding to first of all we have to uh, attain a 0 dB and correspondingly there will be a power and let us see let us change the this probe to here you can connect it here let us see the connection now you have connected the output from the detector mount to this VSWR meter now I am turning on this switch now we have maximum power output coming through this probe so let us see what this vswr displays i am turning on the switch so that needle goes to this slide you can see here that this needle goes beyond this 0 db so you have to adjust that needle position see that is adjusted to 0 db by varying this variable attenuator so you can adjust it to, uh, to minimum position when you are rotating it in the clockwise direction you can see the needle goes to when you are turning it in the this plunger when you are turning in the clockwise direction then the needle goes to 0 db position you can adjust that gain to 0 db initially you can see you can see here that that needle goes to 0 db okay you can see you can see there. So initially we are setting a power at a reading of 30 dB position. Sorry, now here the initial reading for this power is that is 0 dB. Here we are adjusting 0 dB and this 0 dB corresponds to initial power of 40. Here the this points to 40 dB so that is the reading is 40. Next we can connect the directional coupler and we can measure the power coupled to input port to output port of this directional coupler. You can see this is the directional coupler. Now you are giving input to this port and you are taking output from this port so that this will be matched terminated. That means by using a matched termination, you can see here by using this matched termination you can terminate this port. So input is given to this port and output is taken from this port. Let us denote this as P1. And this is P2, that is 3 is matched terminated. So let us see what will be the power output in that, okay. Now the directional coupler is connected to the microwave bench. You can see, first of all, the bench starts with, see there is a klystron power supply. And then there is an isolator, you can see here. After that there is a frequency meter, then a variable attenuator. And the microwave input is given to the port 1 of directional coupler. And here port 2 is shown here and the output is taken from this port 2 so that the detector mount is connected to port 2 of this microwave bench. And port 3 which is a coupled port and that is terminated by using match, match to termination. And port 4 is already terminated okay. So there will be some output through this port 2 and that will be connected through by using a probe uh, to the VSWR meter. In previously we have set the maximum output for this bench and now we have made, change, changed the connection by um, introducing a uh, directional coupler and uh, now we have given the input to port 1 and output is taken from the port 2. So let us see the reading in the VSWR meter. Now you can see the reading, initially it was set to 40 dB power, reference power was 40 dB and now when you connected the port 1 as input port and port 2 as output port and port 3 is matched to terminated, the needle shows deflection you can see, initially the needle was here, there is some deflection and the power reading is obtained from the upper red scale and you can see the reading there was. 1 that is from 40 to 1 that is 40 point, 41 is the reading there and now so you can write it in the table or column see you have to make a table or column 
like this so that uh, you you should make uh, first of all you should uh, take the repeller voltage you should write the repeller voltage and here the repeller voltage is 183 and uh, you can uh, write the reference power as 40 db and uh, input power input port is 1 and output port is 2 and the match termination now is 3 and the power you obtained is 40 point 40 41 41 is your power reading so you can uh, write there and uh, next that is the output power that is represented by pij that is equal to p12 that is the value here okay one and two are kind so p12 is 41 next you have to connect the input to port 1 and output is taken from port 3 and match the terminated port is 2 so let us see the reading now the directional coupler is connected in this manner that is input is given to port 1 output is taken from port 3 and port 2 is matched terminated so let us see the output see output can be obtained in the um, vswr meter you can see that the needle was uh, goes to the left side that means a maximum of 10 db difference is there initially it was 40 and now when we are changing the port the reading goes to 40 db so you can write in your um, paper as see now the port is connected input is 1 and output is third port and match the terminator port is 2 and you will get the reading as 40 db sorry initially your reading was 40 db and now you will get 40 db at the power output that is in the vswr meter next you can connect give the input to second port that is second port is this one and you can take the output from this first port and you are match terminating the third port so similarly you can connect you can give input to second port and output can be taken from the first port and in that case you are naturally terminating the third port so you have to note all the readings let us see so this is the connection that is we are giving input to second port and output is taken from the third port and the first port is matched to terminated and uh, you will get the power value at the VSWR meter similarly you can connect like this that is input is given to second port and output port is first and then you are matched terminating the third port so you will get the power value like this and here the ref reference reading was 30 db correspondingly you can see the variation in the output power and once you get this output power values you can make the calculations that is you can find isolation loss coupling coefficient directivity like that so isolation loss is calculated by i is equal to p minus p12 p12 is 1 is input port and 2 is output port so you will get 30 minus 30.3 that is equal to minus 0.3 db that actually we got the value similar uh, to 40 db and uh, 41 db here and here 50 db like that this is here 41 db so you have to make the calculation based on your values and here the coupling factor can be quotient is obtained by taking c equal to p1 minus p13 what is p13 p13 is port 1 to 3 that's value is 40 db that is why they are getting the minus 10 db value as coupling factor to find the directivity d you can see the equation is p13 p minus p23 that is around 9 db and now you can verify the relation i minus c equal to d by substituting the values of i c and d so you can find that i minus c approximately equal to d value so this is the way we have to verify the relation so this is all about this uh, directional coupler experiment thank you